What's up guys, welcome to Future Automation, a place where imagination meets reality and you are listening to Tejas. So this is one of the most awaited series that I want, ever wanted to create and this is where we are going to enter into social media with Selenium and the first social media platform will be Facebook.com. So with a cup of coffee, let's get started. So guys in today's video we are going to deal with how to automate Facebook login and how to post an automatic post using Selenium while we are sitting back relaxed and uploading a photo in the post and then posting that post. So there are a lot of posts in my post. So let's get the posting posted. So in previous videos we have seen how we can use Selenium to access different kinds of elements on different websites and use the uh, different properties to interact with this kind, these elements. So today we are going to use all the previous knowledge that we have learned and we are going to try to log in into Facebook and then we are going to post a video. So basically the login part is a, something that everyone knows who have watched the previous videos. Now those who are new to this video, I request you to go back to the previous videos. I have mentioned the links in the description and also at the somewhere above in the card. So these are the previous videos that we have created, the GitHub series, the Python web automation, and the miscellaneous series and the auto Amazon automation part one. So basically, Amazon part one will be continued when the uh, what we say lockdown will be open. Till then, we can't stop innovating. So let's get to innovation. <coughs> now, here what we are going to do basically is I have already written down the code of login part because most of you who have watched the previous videos already know how to deal with the login pages. Now, what we are just going to do is we are going to open up a facebook.com and then we are going to log into Facebook. So after that I am going to do the coding with explaining you guys about how we can post a post in Facebook post. <laughs> so let's get to posting. Okay. So we'll just select this part. I'll right click it and done. So we'll open the browser in maximize mode and then we'll load the facebook.com. So here we are at the Facebook main page. Now those who are new, I'll just explain in short about the code. So this is where we are going to import the libraries that we are going to use. So we are going to use Selenium, we are going to use Time and login data is the file that I have created for my login credentials. Obviously, I'm not going to keep the login credentials here. So that's why we are just going to create a new different file for that. And then we are going to pass on the username and password to the Facebook. So here we have opened the Facebook.com and then how we interact with different elements is we are going to inspect each and every element. We are going to get the XPath from the HTML code and then we are going to use the same XPath in find elements and then we are going to send keys. So that's that's not much tougher than you the, those who think it is tough if you are thinking so. If you think it is easy then good. You have an optimistic approach. So let's go to next part. <coughs> so what we do here is we right click we inspect we <coughs> use this tool so basically guys this tool here is provided by most of the browsers in the one or the either way Mo mozilla will provide you this tool directly when you inspect start the inspecting section chrome will have an option here select this to uh, tool to inspect the page so wherever you will take the mouse cursor you'll get the, get to the html code of that particular section so I'll, i need the html code of this so i'll just Click here, I'll get the code, I'll right click and I'll copy the X part. Now basically you don't have to access some inner elements here or some attributes here. That's why you can directly go with the X part. I'll paste the X part here. Similar goes with the password and then we are going to copy the X part of the button that we are going to use to log in. So that's all much to uh, log in into Facebook. So I'll just uh, keep both the windows in side by side so you can easily get what exactly I'm doing here. So this is the code here. <coughs> I'll just select the code. I'll right click and I'll run it. 
So you can see here that I have got my email ID, my password and it has logged in. So basically <coughs> what it does is it, is it will open and take us to the first page of the facebook.com uh, that is after login our profile or home page and from here we have to access to this post section where we are going to send the data to the post section and upload a photo okay so i'll show you step by step how we can do that so again we are going to back to the inspect section here so click on the f12 button you'll get to inspect section click on this tool go to this text area right click copy the xpath go to code paste the xpath so here again driver dot find driver dot find element by xpath and paste it dot send keys and here so this is an an automated post from selenium to selenium on my facebook news feed feed okay so <clears throat> there is one more thing that i need to tell you and that is you must have observed that here i haven't created any instance of the uh, elements as we have done in previous videos so this is because whenever you have to perform a single operation on any element throughout your procedure only one one operation then you don't have to create any kind of instances here you can directly get the instance and directly pass your function directly apply your function here and it will work out so as it has worked out here in login time it will also work out here in the post section so now again we are going to keep both the stuff side by side and we are going to see whether this will work out or not okay so here is the post part i'll copy uh, select this run the cell okay so here you can see that i have got my text in the facebook post box now if you want to upload a video uh, sorry a, a video or a photo in this so basically you can do everything here using selenium you can access each and every element but i'm not going to access every element and show you that is something you need to understand once you get a basic idea about how to even access it if you want me to create another video on only post part then you can just add a comment in the comment box and i'll surely try to make a full video only on the post section where we can uh, select different settings and properties and we can access them now you want to <coughs> upload a photo or a video if you'll understand about the photo then ultimately you'll get an idea about how we can upload a video so what we have to do again we have to go to this tool we have to inspect this section here that is add a photo and that copy the xpath here now those who have watched the github series they already know how to do this we have to just copy this section and we have to just send keys the path of the photo that's all nothing much so driver dot find element by xpath pass on the next part and then dot send keys and here we are going to pass the path of this image that is my thumbnail that i'm going to use for this video facebook automation here copy i think it has not completed what is slash facebook copy and then encode and the browser so send keys just check uh, i have already given their underscores to these two sections but it is not giving let's see that's not an issue we can just manually put it here that is not an issue so <clears throat> you select this and just say run save so here you can see that the photo that we have selected has uploaded and it is ready to post so basically what we this does in the back end it will get the path of that <coughs> photo and it will upload so we are doing the same but we are doing it programmatically okay so now what we have to do is we have to select 
we have to get the access to this post button so button here we have already got the button tag we have to just copy the xpath we have to put it in the <coughs> driver dot find element dot find element by xpath here put it dot click and that's all we are ready to post our post on facebook so post is being posted on the post of facebook okay guys so we have posted our <coughs> post here in the facebook and that's all you have to do you have to just follow the basic procedure of selenium to do anything on any website and you're good to go that's all nothing else so guys if you like this video don't forget to give a thumbs up if you have any kind of suggestions if you have any kind of advice if you have any kind of ideas if you have any queries if you have any questions anything i'm open to you guys anytime just put your stuff in the comment box and i'll sure they answer them if you have any requests about any videos like uh, a separate video for each and every uh, possible operation in the post uh, scenario of the facebook i'm sure i'll surely do that just give me your ideas or your requests in this uh, comment box because there is lot of there is lot of scope in selenium and accessing it for different browsers and working with them so we will have to go a long way to finish the selenium section then we have more web packages which will deal with such kind of stuff but in different way so that's all for today don't forget to subscribe my channel hit the bell icon if you have any kind of uh, queries comment box is always open for you guys and the most important thing is keep innovating thank you guys stay safe stay home